So uh, we've just uh, presented today the historic trial, a step wedge cluster randomised trial enrolling just over 31,000 patients across seven hospitals in Scotland. Our aim was to evaluate whether the introduction of high sensitivity cardiac troponin testing with an accelerated diagnostic pathway would be more effective and safer for patient care than standard care, a guideline recommended approach where we use a single threshold and serial testing to, to rule in and rule out myocardial infarction. High sense of troponin has been a challenge to clinicians to understand how to use it. What we advocate is the use of separate risk stratification and diagnostic thresholds. We need to move away from thinking of this as a binary test. Uh, and in doing so, we can make earlier decisions that are safer for patients. So the primary uh, observation in the trial is that by adopting this early rule-out pathway, we reduce length of stay in the emergency room by three hours. The massive impact on the flow of patients in our hospitals. We also increased the proportion of patients who were discharged directly from the emergency department by 57%. But the key question was whether accelerating this diagnostic pathway was going to be safe for patients. And we followed up all patients for one year for a primary safety outcome of myocardial infarction or cardiac death following discharge from hospital and found no evidence of harm associated with implementing this pathway. So this is actually uh, a simpler strategy, is it not? The, the high stakes pathway um, is easy for clinicians to use. Um, the adherence to the pathway across seven hospitals, many hundreds of different clinicians during the trial was over 92%. Uh, simple and pragmatic. If your con troponin concentration is below our, our low risk threshold, a single test is all that's required. If it's above the 99th centile, the diagnostic threshold, then patients require admission for hospital in order to understand what the mechanism of injury is. And that small group in the middle require a second test in the emergency department to make sure that troponin concentrations are not increasing. So we have, I think, distilled the, the power of the test into a simple algorithm that clinicians seem to follow uh, carefully. So will this be sufficient to change guidelines and to change clinical practice? So if we look at the evidence base to date, uh, almost all studies are observational, where patients care hasn't been guided by the use of these approaches. There are very few implementation studies. That said, the, the totality of the diagnostic evidence has been quite powerful and some guidelines have started to change and the European Society of Cardiology recognised that uh, pathways like this can improve care. But I think what the field has been waiting for is a robust, randomised trial which critically can evaluate safety. And I think with over 700 pr uh, primary safety outcome events in this trial, we've provided the answer to that. The use of accelerated pathways, separate risk stratification and diagnostic thresholds is better for patient care. <laughs> What have you got planned next? So the the interesting area for us all, if we identify low risk patients um, and high risk patients, that leaves us a, a small group in the middle with intermediate troponin concentrations. Now this group do go on to have cardiac events. Our, our algorithm admits them to hospital for further investigations. Um, and I think by concentrating our efforts on this group, we could make a big impact on, on patient care. To put it into context, um, if, if your troponin concentration is below the diagnostic threshold of the 99th centile, um, but above our risk stratification threshold, the event rate is around 5% at one year, a 1 in 20 event rate, compared to troponin concentrations below the risk stratification threshold, where the event rate is about 0.5%, a tenfold different. If we can concentrate our efforts on this intermediate risk group and apply the best evidence-based investigative strategies we have, then I think we could do good things. Our next trial, target CTCA. We're going to randomize patients to early outpatient CT coronary angiography versus standard care to see if we can reduce these longer term uh, outcomes in, in patients.